Now I want to show you what is one of my favorite parts of the BPIX products in general. It's here under panel macros. Macros are really nice and powerful. They are ways for you to customize the system for almost any possible user to, to use, whether it is a power user wanting to do something complicated or a, a basic user who wants difficult things automated so they don't have to stress too much. And it works in a very simple way. Let me bring up a panel here. And then let me put this here into record. And you will basically see that as I do things on the user interface, let me bring this up properly. Let's say I switch my different inputs like that. And here you can see that on the list it keeps track of what I did. Let's say I go to my clip player and I change the clips a little bit, maybe put a lower third on and off. Maybe, you know, do this kind of stuff, do an effect, that kind of stuff. You can see that it uh, basically makes a record of what it was I did. I'm not going to save my masterpiece, although it is one. And here you can see every step that I did, and it's editable. So, for example, let's say that instead of input 3, I actually meant to go to input 5. Let us say that the clip that I meant to go to instead of that one was, let's say, this one. Let us say that, um, you know, all of these, let's say that the timing, I didn't want it to take 153 frames. Instead, I wanted it to take 68 frames. I mean, everything can be changed and optimized. You can even change the orders of the steps and so forth. Then, once you make these macros, you can come over here to this section, and you can assign them to buttons. So here what I've done is I've made a little floor plan, basically, of the broadcast pick city council council chamber. And here are all my councilors in a row, just as like they sit on the dais. And I put some buttons behind there that indicates get a, le get a wide shot of the left-hand councilors, get a right shot of the right-hand councilors. These represent the people who are facing the councilors. So the clerk, perhaps there's a podium in front where people can make appeals. Uh, here, perhaps some of the staff members that are there and even here would be where the crowd is, and here might be shots of the crowd that I might want to take. Let's see how this works. I sit there and say, okay, perhaps I want to go see John Cup. Notice that it zoomed on him and then took him. And I've written my macro so that it even loads the graphic, and then I can click on it to put it on and click on it to take it off. Let's have a look at Counselor Kelly Waters. There's Kelly, and we can ID her. Let's say that Fred Espresso has something quick to say. There he is. We put him like that. Let's say they're having a big discussion. We want to get a wide shot. And I can ID that too if I like. And I don't have to have this just with one camera. Let's say I have more than one camera and perhaps these counselors are covered with one camera, these counselors with another camera, and this is the mayor's camera. Here's my mayor. He's a sports fan and um, so he's a coming in remotely and so forth and this is the real value of the macros you can make a completely uh, specific user interface for exactly how your user might want to use the switcher without them having to know anything about how a switcher works they just this is the guy I want to see click him on ID him and then take that off you can make buttons for anything you could make buttons to say do the opening do the closing and these, these macros are very easy to make. So let me actually open up one of these. And uh, let's look at the John Cup one, for example. And here it is. Move the camera to preset one. Take the character generator off in case, I for, in case it's on from the previous shot. Choose the proper graphic, and it even shows me a picture. Go to the camera that happens to be looking at that particular person, you know, and wait. If I press it again, add, this, add the uh, subtitle, wait. If I press it again, remove the subtitle. It's that simple. And to then make the various ones that I did is all I had to do is come here and say, OK, I want now to do uh, CG number two. And I'm going to want to, instead of this one, I want to get, say, this person's thing and just save it under another name and put another button on it. So making all of the macros for the different counselors was easy too. This macro feature is really one of the very nicest features of the Broadcast Picks products.